Hi, everyone. Dr. Du Hakpale is with us today. Dr. Du is part of our Journey Church family, and he's also a professor at Crandall University. And today is African Heritage Month, and so we're going to ask Dr. Du some questions in light of this very special month. Now, as a professor, uh, you normally give students to uh, answer questions, but today I'm giving you some questions. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's You're ready. Go, let's go for it. All right. Well, let's start with the first question. What is the purpose of African Heritage Month? Um, I think for me, um, African Heritage Month is um, the biggest celebration um, of human dignity we can have in the world. Uh, coming from uh, slavery and enslavement, uh, black people or African people have uh, uh, really come up uh, uh, with uh, a victory over oppression, and uh, that is worth uh, celebrating. But it's also, uh, for me, um, coming together as a God's family, uh, where we have no more black or white, uh, a slave or free, and we are all part of the family of Jesus Christ. I remember Dr. Leonard Anderson once said, don't tolerate me, celebrate me. And I think that's such a wonderful uh, words to think about. You know, sometimes we hear from people in Atlanta, Canada, that say that we don't have a racism problem here. How do you respond to that? Um, I think that's uh, possibly a fallacy uh, because where human groups uh, come together, there are always uh, problems. Uh, where people have not encountered each other before, uh, there are always problems. So for example, over here in uh, Moncton, and Atlantic Canada, uh, a lot of minorities, uh, and particularly uh, black people, African people, um, um, have a charge against uh, uh, the locals sometimes uh, for uh, being handed over the worst jobs, for example, the lack of promotion in the uh, workplaces, and um, sometimes uh, um, some um, uh, negative remarks uh, on the streets or in uh, some uh, uh, shops and uh, uh, this sort of things. So we have um, um, uh, our own problems that uh, needs uh, uh, dealing with uh, um, in terms of uh, equality of opportunities. Okay. Is it enough to be non-racist or do we also have to be anti-racist? Um, I think the best answer to this will take me to um, uh, Roman, uh, the book of Roman, uh, chapter 1, uh, verse 27 to 29. Uh, where Paul uh, says that um, uh, people have known the truth, uh, but uh, despite that, uh, they've done what was uh, against uh, God's laws. So therefore, for these reasons, uh, God has given them up to a reprobate mind. So this means that um, um, uh, we can't just um, sit and um, say, yeah, this is, uh, uh, I'm not a racist. But uh, we have to be proactive in terms of uh, resolving that uh, and uh, taking action towards, uh, uh, towards that. And um, taking action means that uh, we are um, uh, taking uh, vigorous uh, uh, steps to uh, eradicate that. And uh, if I give another example, um, uh, the Archbishop of, uh, Bishop, um, Desmond Tutu from South Africa, he once said that um, in terms of justice, uh, if you know the truth and you stay silent, then you are on the side of the oppressor. Mm. So therefore, um, if we don't do anything at all, and uh, we just uh, say we are non-racist, uh, then we are uh, contributing to uh, maintain the status quo. Dr. Martin Luther King once said, we must learn to live together as brothers or perish as fools. How can not just Africans, but people of all races live together in unity? Right. Um, I think um, uh, that's an important question. That's a very, very important question. Uh, with uh, globalization, with uh, people coming together, um, I think uh, our welfare as a people depends on one another. So peace and stability in one place uh, or in one group uh, is um, uh, contingent upon other people uh, behaving a certain way. So therefore, um, uh, coming together as a God family is... Uh, probably an important uh, um, uh, view of things to take uh, uh, as opposed to uh, the uh, isolated uh, um, uh, position that we, we used to, uh, to take. 
And if we go back to the, um, uh, to the scripture itself, uh, uh, God created one, uh, one human being, and every human being descended from that uh, uh, one set of uh, people that God created, Adam and Eve. So that again shows that we are all part of the same family, and um, um, there's no differentiation. And even scientists uh, who tend to be atheist or um, deny uh, God's work uh, tend to recognize that we all came from one, uh, one line uh, coming from Africa and uh, spreading uh, across the globe and uh, these sort of things. So I think that's uh, the unity of the human race that we are seeking and uh, not the divisions. May we be one. Well, thank you, Dr. Dew, for being a voice during this African Heritage Month. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me.